it's always been important to me to support other leaders, to open doors, and to know when it's time to pass the torch to them. And so I feel this is the right time. Michigan senior U.S. Senator Debbie Stabenow, the current dean of the state's congressional delegations, announcing today she will not seek re-election when her term expires in two years. Stabenow has been in the Senate since being elected in 2000. Stabenow's decision now has a lot of people wondering what this will mean for the future of her Senate seat. Political reporter Rick Alvin is here now to break it all down for us. Reaction today to all of this. Yeah, there's a lot of implications here, but today was the day for reaction. No yeah. politician should get out in front of themselves on this just yet. It's not necessary, not advisable as a matter of fact. Yeah. But the reaction has been pretty universal. It's come all the way from the folks at the county level through state level right up to the vice president of the United States who the senator served with when she was in the Senate as well. And they all are thanking Senator Stabenow for her service. Now, to be sure, there are detractors out there. You can't serve in political office without having that. But today was really reserved for people to look back at this career, which will be 50 years long when she finally steps away from the Senate, and talk about her service at the county level, at the state house level, at the state senate level, at the U.S. House level, and at the U.S. Senate level. And uh, being there for, will have been there for 24 years uh, when she finally steps away. Um, that's a long run, and a lot of people are making note of that. Today. Absolutely. And of course, we know she'll be a hard act to follow, but people are already talking about who that will be. Yeah, and, and like I said just a moment ago, no good politician is going to come out today and say, hey, I'm going to run for this. But there are a lot of them on the phone talking to donors and some of their advisors trying to kind of test the waters internally. That's nothing they want to talk about just yet. But this is a rare opportunity. This is an open seat for the U.S. Senate. Now, if you go back over the 27 years that I've been here in this state covering politics, it's happened exactly once. And that's when Carl Levin uh, resigned. But Carl Levin had to beat a sitting member, as did Debbie Stabenow and Spence Abraham, as did Spence Abraham when he won his seat. Uh, only Gary Peters had the luxury of going to that open seat. So now there'll be another opportunity. So what that means is that there are 110 members of the state Senate. There are 38 members, uh, I'm sorry, of the state House, 38 members of the state Senate. I would say any or all of those would at least think about it because you're not going to not get another opportunity like this in all likelihood. But there are also other folks out there. How about members of Congress? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're running every two years. They look at this and say, boy, it'd be nice to run every six years, not every two years, right. and be a bigger player, a member, you know, one of 100 instead of one of 435. Um, and even some who aren't in office right now. I was thinking earlier today, Andy Levin, who is Sandra Levin's son, Carl Levin's nephew, uh, he lost his bid for re-election to the U.S. House. But the Levin name is powerful and associated with the U.S. Senate. Is it possible that he might try to resurrect some of that magic when he comes back? For Republicans, again, there could be any number. In fact, just this afternoon, somebody raised the name of former Congressman Mike Rogers, who actually succeeded Senator Stabenow in that House seat when she vacated. So there are a lot of options out there. Mm -hmm. I think everybody in elected office is going to think about it but they'll have to weigh all the circumstances. I think this could be a very big primary field mm -hmm. unless you get somebody with that big name, that, that big foot, if you will. If they step into the race, a whole lot of other people may have to reassess. I won't name any names, but there could be that person. Okay, I think a lot of people, uh, there are big names out there yeah. who could do it. And, and of course, those are things that we're going to talk about in the months and years to come. But today, again, like you said, is a day to right. thank her for her years of service and look down the road. Absolutely. Yeah, all right, Rick, thanks for your insight today. Yeah.